Whoa, okay, so that's a warning. This game is not suitable for children who are, or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit the yeah, oh, Wolf. Are you playing Doki Doki Literature Club? You agree that you are at least 13 years of age. You have sent your exposure of highly disturbing content. Okay? This is a visual novel. You know, really disturbed. Okay, that is loud as hell. Alright. Hey, I got this up. My name is Jack. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I have heard a lot of good things about this game, so I thought I'd look it up on Steam, and it's free. yip de doo So I thought, you know what, I'll play, I'll play it for this episode, because I think, I think it's supposed to be like a, like a dating sim. Like, like a, like a dating sim, but it has like another message in it. I'm going in this game as blind as possible. I just know, that I will, the only thing I've read is that the merch store, the merch store is open. So, yeah. Um, let's just go new game. Why not? Please enter your name. Jackaboy. Jackaboy. Why not? Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any any attention she might draw to herself. That girl's Sayori, my neighbor and good voice crack, neighbor and friend, good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend that you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other so long. We used to talk to walk to school together on days like this, but starting going to high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I'd get tired or tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just however I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, ah! I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you say that you're thinking about ignoring me. That's me, Jacka boy. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it into you to be to be mean if you if you want to. Whatever you say whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the street as we draw near the street become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jacka boy. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been look- I- okay, sorry. I haven't looking either. I haven't been looking either. I, that's not true! You told me you would join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure- I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sarah likes to say you like to worry a little, a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content about- content- con content? Content of just by, by getting my average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. So I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness, your happiness is really important to me, you know. I know you're happy now, but I died and the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll give me to try a little? Well, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! What up? Why don't I myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I, I can. I even let myself relate to her. Blech, can talk to them. I guess seeing her worry so much is about. about uh, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her inside of her head. The school day is ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. When I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. 
Sayori. She must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up to you, catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought I might might need some encouragement, so I thought you know, you know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to join going to your club. Yeah, Mimi. Sayori is vice, Sayori is vice president of the lit, literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. I thought I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Okie dokie. Eh. She, 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 since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. She said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Oh, that said. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyway? Well, I kind of told the club just so I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything? Natsuki. And everything? Eh. <laughs> don't make promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if, I can't tell if Zero is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to how plan this all out. Oh, that long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Oh. Sorry. I post I I've mostly too many tweets of from Mario from Mario Odyssey. I don't know. I'm just playing that too much. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I digitally follow Sayori across Dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori full of Sayori full of energy and swing swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah. We went down the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, Sayori uh, Serial said nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Jackaboy, what a nice surprise. Who are you? I know who you are. <coughs> What's that? Welcome to the club. Always keep me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yeah, oh god, not, not dating Tim. What are you looking at? Tell me you say it. Sorry. That's key. Heh. <laughs> Dude, apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Only one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says this a quiet in my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Yuri. Dude, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears com comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a, have a hard time keeping up with people like Natsuki and Sayori. Or Sa Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. That was that was wrong voice. Stupid, stupid. Sounds like you already know you already knew Monica. Is that is that right? That's right. Monica. It's great, it's nice, it's great to see you here again, Jackal Boy. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels feels a little. You you too, Monica. You too. Come sit down, Jackal Boy. Come sit down, Jackal Boy. We meet room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desk arranged from to form a table. As Sayori, as Sayori mentioned, it's been a widen so that there's one space next to Monica and the one space next to Sayori. Okay. Right, and 
Yuri opens the closet. Where I take a seat next to Sayori. my mic off for like half that. How about that? You didn't hear anything. Cause I turned my mic off by accident. Whoopsies. I'm glad. Yuri, sm Yuri faintly, sm faintly smiles uh, to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the, the literature club? Um. Oh, fuck it. I was afraid of this question. I think tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Make sure you feel alright at home, okay? I'm afraid of the literature club, it's dangerous to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you tried to start your own club? You could probably be board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all this, all this politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I much rather take something personally, I take personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised you aren't, there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in playing, putting all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You haven't you have to work to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. It makes school events at like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before it this club before we graduate. Blah. Right, right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really, really, really hard to find just. find. Uh, to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delightly. delighted by the idea of a new member joining. 
though I still don't understand, I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Jacka boy, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, literature I've read past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. That is true. I do like to read manga. I'm lying. Mutter quiet. <coughs> I mutter quiet to myself. Half. Mutter quietly to myself. Half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri Sets. Yuri Sets smile. Wait, what about you, Yuri? Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri tries to remove her teacup with her fingers. My favorites usually be novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The levels of create the love of guilt, creativity, and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling them a good story is such a foreign such foreign world equal is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that the, by the way she sure eyes light up, but uh, whatever. What? You know, but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take, deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination, only to throw you for a loop? Is that a foreshadow? Cause I've heard like that this game like goes like weird, like like a like a like a sharp twist. So is that like a like a throwback? I'm keeping an eye on you, Yuri. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read I read horror I read a horror book once. What was it called? <laughs> it. it doesn't really grasp something I can relate to the minimal level. That's right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. This story makes me think or takes me into another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very serious while changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Let's see his eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? Another piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Looks like you were writing working on a poem called Don't say it out loud. Give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is as cute as you are. So you slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't you wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing a level of writing takes more and more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. But you are willing to open your re to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest of reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can send a yellow to help Natsuki feel comfortable. Share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for you. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Hmm? Nat Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically, quizz quizzically shut up, at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them and, and write, share them with each other. That's what I meant. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Boss, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us out a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. It's not right, Jacka boy. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still someone. There's still one problem. And what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth from the entire time. I never thought I would join this club. Siri so may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. 
So far, let's close look at and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls are back in with, de with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Jacka boy, you all defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? Now it is, of writing poems is the price you need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Alright. Okay, I've decided then. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll join the I join the I'll join the literature club. By one one by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy. So he wraps arms around me and then jump jumping up and down. H hey You really did scare me like scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at once more. Jackaboy, I, for, I, f I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Carol press the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. Find out on the next episode of Doki Doki Learn Her Club. Mary can see the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and actually clean up their food. Hey, Jackaboy, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Great. Sorry, so you already never walk home together anymore because you always stay after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, holy, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Siori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy to be after school in a literature club? So I'm tempted to go closer to one of these girls. I like Yuri. I like Yuri. She's, she's like she's like horror. I li I really like horror. I need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure to get a you know, good fortune. Good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing poem tonight. Oh, I like the music now. Okay, it's time to write a poem. Pick where you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when or who are like poem the most. Infinite. Well, okay, so Yuri, so Yuri likes horror. Uh, tone. So Natsuki likes cute things. Say I don't even know what Sayori likes. Depression. Okay, that's that goes Sayori. Um, Affirmage. Memories. Okay. Suicide. Jesus. Infallible. Starscape. Crimson. Massacre. Uncanny. Defeat. Disoriented. Intellectual. Misfortune. Um, skirt. <laughs> Doki Doki. <laughs> um, meager. Determination. Undertale. Oh yeah, Undertale's coming back this week. Marriage. I guess I go a little bit with all three. Hi again, Jacka boy. Hello. Gotta see you didn't worry. Must. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I can keep my word. Well, oh, I'm back at the literature club. God, my fucking hand is killing me. I wanted to. I want. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hang, hang, hanging out. Hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Jacka boy. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Uh. Sorry. Making you die first in the literature or not assume accustomed to it. Oh come on, like you like you deserves any slack. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join this any clubs this year. And last year too. That's true. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. If you don't take us seriously then we'll, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you really starting have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm. Natsuki find herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature. 
Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into it. Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Jack applauds and gives it. It gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with his busy work without with me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. <laughs> and you almost set your house on fire once. That is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Jackaboy are, are really, can be really good friends too. Um, Sayori. Hmm. Jules Sayori. Jules Sayori seems to be oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, uh oh, oh, you even brought something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh, me. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really, it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sorry, Sarah, I'm gonna sound like a big deal. It's really not. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Eh, I'm sorry, you're right. I wasn't think. You're right, I wasn't thinking. It means up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Maybe happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, it won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, here. You 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 reach in your bag and pulls out a book. Oh, that's just my bag. That's from my back. I thought it was the, the thing, but it's my wallpaper. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked up out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Sure, read. So I thought I'd keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is this is this is how this girl actually how how does a girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now everyone has settled in. I, I expect. Okay, I thought I saw him that. Oh. Welcome. Okay. Should I Monica to kick off some schedule events activities for the club? But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. Can't help but not notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. Who am I reading? Cover of her book. Looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Sorry, touching my mic. Ah, jeez, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She's gonna look at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Yeah, that's so weird. Like when you're when the Lord like in class, and you like look around, and your eyes meet, you could go. It's like, so that happens to me every day. What makes you her eyes hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. Mother, this something that made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. Let's folk, focus. I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm rereading a bit of this. So. Well, that's the book you gave me, right? Mhm. Mm I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how you have two copies of the same book. Uh, when I when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. Something, fair, something fairly obvious about to hear that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I do, I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once those pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What is it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Because Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Hold on. Oof, 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 oof. 
the entire book title Portrait of Markov. So there's one, there's an anonymous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about the girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But also, as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. All her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship and her house starts to fall apart. That's kind of, that's kind of, it's kind of dark, isn't it? That's kind of dark, isn't it? So if I right click, it just goes, it just goes away. I look like yeah, okay. Jory made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Foreshadowing! That is foreshadowing. That is foreshadowing, I know. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Jory gently giggles at all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Jacka Boy? No, it's not that. I mean I can definitely enjoy this kind of stories. I don't worry so I don't, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that you were into those things. Oh god, I had a chill on my spine. <laughs> She's so shy and reluctant looks on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a new strange new perspective. And horrible things happen not just because of someone who wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals so that po so their, or their own philosophy that they wanted to believe in. Suddenly, you thought you were related to the protagonist. Then they're... Then they're made out of. They may not have been a naive one who, letting their one side of morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know I saw I saw this problem. When other things like books write writing from my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, 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 I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please tell me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. I just, that means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do, all, the, the least I can do is listen. It's a literature circle after, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Well, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking. You were, said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I stay here, right? I slipped in the seat next to Yuri's. Yuri's. Ah. Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, I gotta pause for a sec. Back. I'm back. Oh man, we got we got a lot of snow here. I just. Uh, I started snowing. We had like three hundred snow. My entire driveway is covered. Okay, back to the game. Are you sh are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's it. I'm sorry. It's not like I don't want you to. That's something I'm not very used to. That I is reading in company with someone. I see. Oh, just only if I'm distracting you or anything. Oh crap. All right. The book and start, it and start the prologue. Do you understand what Yuri means about reading it and reading company? I can feel their, pre feel their presence over my shoulder as I read. Uh, not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but feeling something somewhat comforting. Yuri is, the cor is in the corner of my eye. She's not actually looking forward to looking at her own book. I glance over. She's really re she's reading from my book instead. S sorry, I was just. Sorry, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? Put my desk up to, until it's up against yours, then hold my book more between the two of them. <sighs> I suppose so. Yuri, tim Yuri timidly, timidly closes her own copy. Once one's really leaning in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is, is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. There we go. 
Rui takes the, her left arm and holds to the left side of the book with her thumb. Finger. Ah. You see with my right arm on the right side of the book. That's pretty cool. I like this. That way I turn a page and Rui slides it under her thumb. After she flips to the side. Holding it in, holding it like this, we're hardly even closer than two seconds before. Fire's kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Ah! Turn the page. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Look at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. So not how to be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? You want to, don't mind, I don't mind being patient, it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've become, been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Do we continue reading? You really no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Sad, I just assume that she's finished the page for me, so I turn her bottom and on the bulletin. You're the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels, blah, blah, blah. My, Okay, what did that say? History. I knew about this. You're reading, you're reading. I was... Even so, turning page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Intimate exchange. Okay. Without gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. Yuri. We a little slowly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. She also second guesses all the things she says and does. And she's afraid if she'll do something wrong. Not like I can see in your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of your mannerisms. I see. You really remain silent for a moment. But Jacker Boy, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were self kind about. That sort of thing. I guess more than I guess I meant more than that. It's kind of cute. Ah, hello. Ah, what, what are you saying? What are you saying all of a sudden? I. Okay, everyone. Hi, hey, Monica. Hey. I think it's about time we shared today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. ah. Yuri exhales, spared finishing her thought. Is that right? Is that all right? Is that all right, Yuri? Look kind of down. I'm sorry you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Oh God, I, I missed a marker. Sorry. Whoopsies. Okay, it's fine. Yuri, Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Would you probably read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have to pay too much for presents either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after I picks up it, you know? That's good, that's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the two first two chapters on your own time. Alright, I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left the or the book and slip it back into my bag. Dude, why does the dog hear the book? Wait, did you remember to write a poem last night? I did. Yeah. Here my relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, nothing. Here with. I can't wait. Whoa! Let's go! Let's go, Yuri. Don't go see Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I start with her. Like, I can trust her opinion to be fair. My, my fucking, like, puberty is itching me. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Ex. Except. Can I not say the word exceptional? Exceptional. Eh, what was that? <laughs> I did, did I say that out loud? 
you were first coming over her mouth, then over coming, and then it's coming over her face. <gasps> Oh, he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Uh, takes a Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your, your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Really? Oh, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? I'm sitting here blankly and then looks at my poem again. Wow. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She raises her finger along the words in the poem, as if break breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are some, some there are specific writing habits that are typical to, of new writers. And having been th through that myself, I learned I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the top of the matter, form, and, and they form form put the two together. And the end result is that both style and result are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, as if her demeanor uh, totally changes. Stammering completely is gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just them, just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but that all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable, valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little, bi a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking to people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if yours, yours is probably nice to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my poem. I'll probably be behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as for her, which itself was kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a literature. Isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, what? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calms breathing. And out of the, I'm breathing out of air. Out, oh, comes breathing air out of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. I mean, I couldn't read it because I'm not. I'm not good at reading cursive. What? I wasn't thinking that uh, that at all. It took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. That's... That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't... It wasn't too short. I should write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time meeting... First time sharing... <laughs> I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I hope. Are you wanting to ghost Yuri? Mm hmm? Ghost who who? Not to ghost at all, Jack Boy. Really? I think it's about. I think it's about like, um, what is it? Like time. Time going around in circles, I think it is. Or time going backwards. I almost told him it's the point. Well, I suppose you didn't only glance over it after all. Remember, the po poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Sorry, my mic goes away from my mouth. They usually do more with tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of a poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. I was lingering in her last remaining complacent of comfort, unable to let go of the past. 
Oh, so from just depression. Soon to be left with nothing. So depression, pretty much. So that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Your yours was impressive too, so. Nah. Funny thing, I could probably learn a thing or, thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Jacket Boy. Ah, me too. Okay, now I'm going to talk to Sayori. This is a good poem, Jacket Boy. Are you sure it's your first time? Uh, your first time? It's not that good. I'm not the kind of guy who writes poems in his in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. That's kind of why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do this, take, do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you you just wrote that just that you wrote one. Reminds me of how you all are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> or, uh, uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? See? It's like I said before, Jacka Boy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things is like this for other people. So, something only really good, only really good people can do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori seems to see the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Know how much does it mean to her and all? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. I didn't move my headphones. It's like Fred Mayer. Alright, I'm going to hold you that then. Yay! Oh, that was, that was my character speaking. Who the hell is tweeting me on Twitter? Oh, it's Jax Films. Oh, it's Jax Films, sorry. No, you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to let me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy off of my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. Secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep forever. Sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. This is just a guess, but do you wait till this morning to write this? No, just a, just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. About myself. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I'm still trying my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. Came out of uh, came out nice, or how I should put it. But it looks like you. Really? Yeah. What is that? The lot, that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late, even though you were late to school. I had to, it's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. This reminds me of um. Let's go from Attack on Titan. So I think Sasha. I think yeah, Sasha. She likes to eat like bread and meat stuff. This, this isn't close. This is not a close attack. This is this, this is a sort. This is as far away from attack and Titan as it could be. No point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> so much fun. Monica's the best. Not nah, yeah. But next time I won't forget. Oh, that was her. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay, let's go to Netsuki. Jacket Boy, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not all very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We, we all start somewhere, right? You're still part of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Hey. 
painful thing painful thing about fine sorry you're gonna get better you're gonna you'll get better anyway I'll tell you what to improve but you're better off just trying again fair enough well to each other to each, to each other on I guess well, I guess I gotta share mine now you probably think it's stupid Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That is deep as hell. If you don't get it, it much we're kind of okay. I understand that. I really understand that much. Like eagles, eagles can fly like shit. Like you're much counting off all things that we can't do. We can't fly. We can try, but that's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I told you. I, can't. I like it. I like it. What? To be just, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that they wouldn't like it? Well, okay, because one in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. People don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Writing style would make you make him wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easier to read, but it hits you hard. Like like in this poem, no one around you do great things, but can really be disheartening. I had to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about a simple writing is that it puts more weight on, on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Is that another foreshadow? That's three foreshadows in a row. Foreshadows, I'm pretty sure. Bring out the feeling in, in the last line. So you did. Okay, I guess more when went to it went into it than I realized. That's what I mean. That's what it means to be a pro. Shut the hell up. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't I didn't didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I tried to humor her with the last comment with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if that's Keith's feeling proud, then I'll take that away from her. Alright, now let's show it to Monica. Next, Manica. Hi, Jacka Boy. Are you having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good, I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new on everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, don't be afraid to bring bring things up. Much better off just showing, going with the flow until more settled in. Anyway, wasn't what your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> don't worry, Jacka boy. We're all a little embarrassing today, you know. But it's the sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand my po monarch on my poem. Hmm. Good job, Jack boy. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really, it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Because I, I guess I underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep up with everyone. Expect I can keep everyone low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess I worked anyway. You know that you really like this kind of writing, right? Writing that full it's full of mag imaginary and symbolism. And like Siri who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Oh Okay. You really like it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, letting them deeply analyze all, all the nuances. Nuances. Hey, here's our practice, but while I'm assuming, which I'm assuming you, you already has that at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure. I'm sure, Nora. I'm, I'm sure, I'm Nora. Don't worry. Don't worry so much about that. Do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. I mean, I'm trying to keep up for it. I feel comfortable doing things, doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find out the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. 
But always help. But it'll always help you when you find what suits you the most. Uh. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have any. There's no anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who has come. Not very good. That's true. I, cause I, I just, cause I have to sound more confident. So, I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, and well, let's read it then. Okay. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the the um, spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. Peer inside for a clue. No, it can't be. I real blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Or discord with a permanent copy of mean of the meaningless image. The little hole wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching, stretching for forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. Is what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really. Uh, not really our person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, they're kind of pretty popular nowadays. I hope I wasn't putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Before one pouring out loud, it can only be really powerful. It can be really powerful. That was the inspiration behind this one. Eh. Well, I'm not sure if about it. I guess you could say that I had an epiphany recently. Then a few months like my poem a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm just talk about the do so like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. <clears throat> Maybe after everyone has better friends with, with, with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. So how about when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain is too fixated on one specific point. I try not to make perfect, and you'll never have any progress. We just have to get something down, papered, and tidy up later. As long as I think about it, this is keep your palm pen in the same spot for too long, or just get a dark, big, big dark puddle of ink. So move your, so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. Guess that's everyone. Room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. If everyone is judging me for my media writing abilities. You just have being nice, there's no way them my phone can stand up to theirs. This this is a little literature to go after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I'm getting myself into. Shroom Sari and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. They good they're gingerly exchanged sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems. As you Ooh, fuck. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Sort of fucking yawn. In tandem, I watch their eyes rush in chains. I see his eyebrows fall in frustration. Oh, what? Nah, I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, meanwhile, Yuri smiles, Yuri smiles sadly. What the this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Mm, oh, it's nothing. Natsuki is mostly refers the poem to the desk with one hand. In case you can say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Do you really miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can it be cute? I know that. I meant language, I guess. I'm trying to say something nice. Ah! Uh, you mean you have to be have to come with something just nice to say? Thanks, but we didn't we, we didn't come out nice at all. Um. No, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. Hmm. One suggestion I would have asked someone who really, who actually liked it. People did, by the way. Say, are you say, are you liked it? And Jack of Wilder did too. So based on that, glad I gave some to my own. First of all, shit, goddamn. Excuse me. Appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my, write, my, my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon. Of course, I come across some particularly inspiring, which, which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. Jack, I like my poem too, you know. 
He told me he was impressed by it. He suddenly stands out. Oh! I didn't realize you were so interested in... Interested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, the fuck is the music? <laughs> Dong, dang. It's like Pennywise. Eh. That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Maybe you're just jealous that Jack and Boy appreciates my advice more than- Oh, Jesus. Hold on. So Jack, I appreciate my advice more than appreciate you are. Sorry about that. I had to fix my kid, my recording thing. Huh? You didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> no. If I, was, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do over the cutesy. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs uh, the up kept magically grew a size bigger as soon as Jacko Boy started showing up. Yeah, Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve. This doesn't involve you. I don't like you fighting, guys. Suddenly, both just turn turns to me, standing there. Jacko Boy. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started. She started it. Get over yourself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective. Guys, just shut up! <laughs> First place, what's the point? Well, I'll come for no reason. You need to jump out of the reader, not force him not to figure it out. I hope I explain that to her, Jacko Boy. Wait. There's no what? Deep. Only which. Only wait. Feelings mean the most. I mean, the point was not only. It's also a waste. Learn right that, right, Jacko Boy? Um. Well. Uh. We could write in this first place. Not like I don't want anything about anything about writing. I don't agree. That I think more highly of me. <laughs> no, Miss Harry. <laughs> I'm gonna go with help me tower. Nah, nah, it's key. You already. Say all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone is fighting. It makes you say. Everyone fighting it makes you say you're uncomfortable. How can you do you? Like when you know you're making your friend feel like this. Jack boy. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I I agree. There's their own feelings in our conflict. Yeah, unless everyone wants to tell us what you what a stuck up you what a stuck up jerk she's being. She would never huh, upset in the first place. Excuse me, are you are you listening to yourself? What nobody likes Stop <laughs> Natsuki, Yori! You guys are my friends. If you want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because they're di because of their differences. Natsuki's poems are amazing because they give so many feelings with just a few words. And your poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone is so talented. So why are we fighting? Be be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. You always, <laughs> you always boobs are, always are, all are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Huh. Oh, I'll make some tea. Yuri, Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down at a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. You know, they're in turn. To be honest. Hold on.
about that. Chris uh, called me. I might come off as a good leader, but I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. Couldn't even bring myself to interject. President, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, well... I guess that just means Sayori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. Don't be an airhead. Don't be an airhead, but sometimes she's really suspicious that she, she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take a care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. It makes two of that makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person can really does good president regardless of what she says. If I can only get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay everyone. It's my time for us to leave. How did you all enjoy sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Oh, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Jackaway, how about you? Yeah, I'd say I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learn something different from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do better job pressing those I want to impress. I know myself I know myself with a newfound determination. Tackle boy! Wanna walk home? Sure, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It's been a while since I already have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. What about what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Natsuki. Uh, God, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen him fight like that. Well, wonderful people. You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. What are your opinions, that's all. See why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Jack Boy. I just thought I'd spend some time with you in the club. I think seeing you get along with everyone is really makes me the happiest. Oh, well, everyone likes you, likes you too. That's. <laughs> One day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> so you already saw something about the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but. Does it really, does it really need to stop there? Why don't you see what future holds, Sayori? I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said the more to my I said the more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as a internal monologue sometimes. Internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. That was pretty good. That was good for this episode. I I'm mean, about an hour eight minutes in. I'm sorry. I thought you know, I'm gonna stop here. Save. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, I'm just recording here. Alright, so this is a pretty good episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. First, I just gotta do this. No. Alright, but that was a pretty good episode. No lie, this game is pretty good. It's, I mean, I like dating sims. They're okay. They're just fun to play once in a while, like, like, like Twenty Pop or something like that. It's not really a dating sim, is it? Alright, you know, you know what I mean. Like visual novels, like this are really cool to play. And uh, we have, we haven't seen really the weird turn, so I can't say I'm really I I do I like the fact that it hasn't come yet is getting me like hyped for the for the turn like the dark like the dark twist is probably gonna come. Do this just from what I've heard. All right, well you know what? I will see you all guys all later, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. By the way, first thing, Undertale coming back this weekend, coming back this week, Ocarina of Time coming back this weekend. Um, Smash live stream hopefully coming this weekend. Mario Kart video coming this weekend. Mario Kart 64, by the way, ding. Um, so Switch videos hopefully coming out for Christmas. Hopefully, I'm hoping my ass off. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to afford an Elgato after Christmas so I can record some Mario Odyssey or stuff like that. <laughs> so, hopefully, we can do that. So, um, yeah. So I do. I do really, really hope. That that can happen. So hopefully, just expect those videos. Also, 
Portal 2, Portal 2, we got Portal 2, Portal 2, what was this series again? Portal 2, this will be coming back tomorrow, this is this, Portal 2, Minecraft PC Adventures number 2 will be coming out, so Portal 2 will come out this weekend. It will be coming, it will be coming out after Prop Hunt 3, which will be coming out on Christmas Day. So that's what will be coming out, Christmas Day, no, nothing. Christmas Day is when it will be coming out. So, I've been working for a while on it, i try to get it out in November, but it is still being ready. I gotta, gonna take till Christmas, yeah, I just got a couple more, I gotta add me play about two more hours, Prop Hunt, and it'll be fine. I gotta, cause, you yeah. know, and then it'll be ready by Christmas. And if it's not, then it, wait till we, it'll be, it'll be on January, but I swear. It'll be coming out on Christmas. Sharp Christmas Day. Um, it'll be coming around, it'll be coming out around, around maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. So they're coming out, that's what's coming out. Put that on your calendars, because it'll be coming out. And, um, yeah, this will be coming back tomorrow. Portal 2 will be coming back. The next one of Portal 2 will be coming out on January, on January 3rd. So I'll get ready for that. I'll get plenty of dates. Um, I'll do another CSGO episode with Noah on on January, uh, maybe on December, maybe, uh, what day is it? December 10th, December 9th, I'm pretty sure. Then, yes, December 9th. Doing another, so another CSGO episode will be coming out on December 16th. So, and then another episode maybe of, um, Roblox Stupid Moments with JoJo or something coming out on the 15th or the 17th. So, get ready for that. I've got all these planets for the videos where I need to record. I have a schedule now. I'm working really hard. Remember, Prop Hunt. Remember, Prep Hunt 3. Christmas. Christmas Day. Now, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Please, I am so excited for you to guys see this video. It has been so much fun to record. Alright. I've been, I'm just gonna stop rambling about what's gonna come in the future. Alright. Also, one more thing. Super Meat Boy. Episode of Super Meat Boy. A little, like, a, like a little, like a little, stream of Super Meat. I'm gonna. Try and stream Super Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy for a little bit, and Stardew Valley. So, coming, coming soon. I mean, I, they're coming around. In, I'm gonna try to get that around in January, February ish, because I don't know when if my stream, when my streaming server is gonna go up. So you know what I mean. You kind of, you got away from me here. You know, I'm, I'm planning. I'm still, I'm still pretty much working on uh, Prep Pan Three. I'm putting, I'm putting right now all my time into Prep Pan Three. And and Mario obviously, but that doesn't matter. Both of us are doing prep and three and in classes right now, so I've got classes to do, so that's why I can't get videos out normally. So I'm sorry, I haven't, I haven't, sorry, I haven't recorded in a while, but I'm getting back on track to this this month. So Christmas, CS:GO, Gary's Mod, and Portal 2. They'll be coming out soon. Undertale also, Undertale tomorrow. Undertale, another episode of Undertale is coming out tomorrow. All right. Our new episode is coming out tomorrow, and it'll be continuing through January. And our Queen of Time also coming out tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing three videos tomorrow. I'll be, three videos I'll be doing: Undertale, Ocarina of Time, and a uh, Doki Doki Little Trick Club. So we, we got a lot tomorrow. We got we got this month is gonna be like a my mother god, got a going hard month. Like I'm going I'm going straight out videos. Like putting all my time into videos right now. So now that I've rambled on videos for too long, I'm gonna stop now. All right. I'll see you guys next episode. Um, I hope you enjoy your. I hope you enjoy the snow. If it's snowing where you are, because it's snowing where I am. Hope you enjoy the snow. I hope you jump into the snow. If you do, send me a video on Twitter. See ya.